Welcome Aries, it's your heart spread. This is gonna be for the first half of October. I can't believe it's October already. I think we're gonna see a lot of things pop in. Saturn and Pluto going direct. Besides the fall weather, I'm here in Cancun, New Mexico. We don't really have fall weather exactly, but it's nice and warm. Um, so bear with my little setup here, <laughs> temporary, but um, I like to be outside, ground myself, feet on the ground, Sagittarius. Um, I got to have a nice little breeze coming. Um, I already breeze shuffle. I'm not the best shuffler. I like to get a little energy on. This is for whoever's uh, in your mind, who's uh, on your heart, um, your other person. You don't necessarily have to be with them. I'll try to get to look at the relationships, some advice, and each of you and advice uh, from spirit on the relationship as a whole. Um, that's like, uh, what was it, a wonderful little breeze? I had to use my beads for the last reading. Now it's stopped, and it's really nice. Come on, breeze. Uh, see? It's like, there it goes. It's like uh, you're one breeze away from being comfortable. Okay. I'm going to go with the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. It's way that lightly. Could be some uh, emotional... Ice coffee, turmoil in the uh, recent past, playing into this somehow. Knight of Swords, and that might be why you're acting like a Knight of Swords. Uh, nothing wrong. Uh, Mars energy, aggressive. This is where you're at in terms of love and relationship. Um, and this is the energy uh, being very direct. And I used to call this the coming at you card, coming at you. This one's really coming at you. And so in terms of relationship, it's... Um, could be a little triggery, so uh, at the very least, as you come in, I mean, you're you're making it very clear where you stand and what you will and won't tolerate, things like that. Which, arguably, that's a good way to uh, proceed in any case. Especially your near sign, you can pull it off. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Well, this is your person, where they're at in the round relationships, where their mind and heart is at. Okay, so this is a person that's an earth sign, most likely. You're dealing with sun moon rising in venus uh but strong earth energy energy in their chart and more important than that even <laughs> is that they would be a very stable person solid person um someone that may have uh, at least uh if not wealth um they could take care of themselves this king of pentacles uh in terms of coming into a relationship it's not bad you know um aries uh it suits you to be direct at the Knight of Swords, perhaps, you know, by, uh, you know, the archetype of Aries energy. And so in a way you could say it's kind of you being yourself. And if anyone can absorb, if it's a little too harsh or a little triggery, uh, the King of Pentacles will just like basically absorb that if they're into you, I believe. If, in other words, they can handle you, <laughs> you know. Wow, Chariot. Now, this is a significant shift, man. Um, this is the mind, uh, thoughts, and where you're at here coming in aggressively. And now as you're relating to them, how you're feeling about them, this is very different. This is feelings, this is cancer energy. Um, this is uh, moving towards them. If you're cross-watching, this gym, if you were any question here, uh, this series is coming towards you in a major way. And I believe it's like really leveling up, like... Uh, after you, once you've kind of gotten to know them and you're, you're leaving that knight of swords behind, uh, leaving whatever this five of swords is, energy behind, and, and the chariot to me is leveling up, going into the higher self. So this relationship to you is feeling like something, a soulmate relationship, feeling karmic, uh, emotionally feeling like something you really want to align yourself with this person. Uh, Aries, if I could suggest being fire, Particularly if uh, your sun is strong and you have other fire. Um, you know, we often can, I'm a lot of fire, Sag. We're often drawn, you know, I've, I've married 25 years, Capricorn woman. Uh, we're drawn to this kind of strength. It could be a Capricorn, you're King of Pentacles. But um, we're drawn to that kind of strength. It's like a moth to the flame kind of energy. If I see you high vibing. Now, um, this person, uh, either they're going to feel about you like they won the lottery. They may have said to you, they may have said to other people, uh, when it comes to my Aries, I feel like I won the lottery. That's their feelings because that's your feelings towards you. And I know it's also Jupiter. Um, it 
could look at where Jupiter, what's going on with them. I think it's just about at 22 uh, uh, degrees um, Aquarius right now. It's uh, on my Charon asteroid. Uh, it might have some significance there. Uh, maybe that's when you're coming in. It's been there for a while. It's slowing down, stationed in the go direct. Thank God. Um, this month, next month, I believe, but early. So I'm feeling it anyway, all Jupiter. Um, so this would be them responding to you, major arcana to major arcana, chariot to the wheel of fortune. Um, that you, they really feel like you're some kind of gift for them. Um, it might be that you're fire energy. Uh, they're very stable. Maybe they need that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not codependent. It's like they know, like, I got the stability thing in spades, but I have trouble loosening up and having fun. And here comes Aries here, uh, full of spit and vinegar. And you can damn well show them now how to have fun. Wow. Going to the King of Pentacles. Advice from Spirit. This is advice for you with your person in this relationship. And the, I believe the advice here, if you coming in with the swords, I mean, you might have Aquarius in your chart, Aquarius Mercury, which is an astrologer. I've always found Aquarius Mercury to be very uh, good uh, minds. Uh, and not necessarily geniuses can be, but just the kind of mind that can get things done. It can sit and calmly, it's a fixed air, lock on something, read about it, figure it out, and then do it. And so the advice for you is to level up and meet your person's energy here. Um, if there was any question, because it could look like they're a little bit above you or more stable than you or something like this, not something bad, a little older than you, something like this. But Spirit's really advising you here, don't let any of that shake you. You are absolutely their equal. So for some reason you need to hear that. This is your reading. Comment, if that rings a bell, how so? I mean, it will help me a lot. Um, thank you guys injustice look at what they got going on here wheel of fortune and justice you know with justice being their advice from spirit and dealing with you um, it's two things I told you, you need to be the king uh, here the energy and, and to match them it's basically the spirit telling them let them match you um, don't try to for your uh, your person here if you're cross watching don't try to take control of this and drive this uh, relationship going forward um, let it come into some kind of balance and it's not exactly like they have to give up control uh, but they just have to be aware of it and um, support your uh, being an equal in the relationship at every level and two I think coming underneath the wheel of fortune this probably for most people is going to indicate a person coming in that's this earth sign maybe Capricorn energy and they're having to resolve a divorce uh, maybe they've already divorced, but I don't know what the Wheel of Fortune there. I got the feeling like there's something going on. There's to, maybe they're not divorced because their spouse needs uh, insurance. I mean, it's a thing these days. Uh, that kind of thing. Um, and I think that this being a, your, their advice from spirit is for your person needs to tell you all about this. That's part of empowering you, I want to use. Like, uh, you know, because they, they might be kind of a, a daunting person, kind of powerful. But for you, it's like they're going to have to let you in and let you be 100% equal to them and communicate with you and let you into whatever's going on with this too, with their situation. Let's just say they have a situation. Now, this is advice from spirit, the world. <laughs> you guys got a lot at stake here. As I said, a karmic relationship uh, absolutely is. I think your person recognizes this. They may be the manifester. You will move to them with the chariot. We're very happy to, meaning you will leave your home, your state, your city, your country. Um, you will cross the oceans, whatever it takes, and they will receive you. You don't get the world as advice from spirit. There's not something good going on, you know. Um, but there's something that has to come together here, and I think like maybe what your person is realizing with the wheel of fortune, as together you really are stronger than you are individually. The way you guys, and it's not codependent, it's just the way you click. It's going to be in your synastry, no doubt. Uh, but when you come together and the way you work together as a couple, you know, it could imply that you're actually going to do work together somehow. If not, the way you work together is going to support each other in a way that's going to level you both up with the world. And I see a marriage coming too. 
because the world is a big change and leveling up. I always see marriage in this reading, the heart spread as leveling up. I'm not saying that marriage is better than being single. I'm saying it takes you to another level of existence. When we're single, we're in a certain existence. Everyone knows, right? As soon as you couple, you have to be married. As soon as you move in, you're in a different existence. You're going to another level of existence in your life. Now, eight of wands. <laughs> These wands are facing your person here, Aries. You were going to go to them, Aries. And this is the outcome, so that's what's going to happen. And you would go to them. Uh, you, could, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, I think by the time you go to them, or even right now, all of whatever this is talking about is being resolved and openly discussed with you. And I think both of you are realizing how strong and how lucky you are uh, together. So thank you guys. Like, thumbs up, all of that. Please do subscribe. Need the help. Appreciate it.